Batman. Hello, my friends. I'm Jen. And I'm Margo. Welcome to the Treehouse. This is a totally fun show for kids. This is the show where we interview celebs, go to cool locations, give away fun prizes, and do crazy challenges. So, Margo, are you ready to get into it? Oh yeah, let's do it. So Jen, it's time for Real or Fake. This is the time in the show where we invite a famous YouTuber, celebrity, or character into the treehouse. We ask them a bunch of questions. They do a bunch of crazy things. Then we and you at home get to decide whether they're real or fake. All right, so Jen, before we get started, last time we had Sia come on. Was she the real one or the fake one? Hey, I heard you were a wild one. Oh! All right, drum roll, please. Oh, hot off the press. Oh, they love chocolates. Hmm, I don't know what this means exactly, but <laughs> I'm thinking it might give us the answer to whether Sia was real or fake, so open it up and... Oh! The what? answer is... Fake! <laughs> wah, wah, wah! Oh man, that's too bad. You were certain that she was... I thought she was the real deal. I even got her autograph. But she was so good at singing. I know, she was great. I don't know who can hit those high notes, but what I do know is that we have chocolate. <gasps> oh, would you like one? Yeah, I have one. Cheers! Cheers to see ya! But on this time's Real or Fake, we have a very special guest, and I think I hear the doorbell now. Oh! You know him, he's a famous YouTuber, and he can do every voice under the sun, like every character, Winnie the Pooh, Donald Duck, you name it, he can do it. Please help us welcome Brian Ho! So, did you guys seriously climb up this tree every time y'all do an episode? Oh yeah, it improves our muscles. <laughs> hey, by the way, oh, um, I noticed you got a little bit of like. Oh, you got you what? got in your hair. Got a little. Oh, oh hang on, hang on. <laughs> He's got a little leaf oh. in his hair. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not built for climbing. But what he <laughs> is built for is crazy voices. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Goofy entered the building. Uh, oh, where? Oh, I want to say Goofy. So, Brian, you had a YouTube video that went viral, mm -hmm. and you sang Let It Go in so many different characters. How did that make you feel? Well, it was very interesting because up until that point, I had not really had a YouTube channel. I just did videos for fun. And then all of a sudden, boop, there was 26 million views in front of my face. So how many different voices did you do in the Let It Go video? I did um, 21 in total. <gasps> let it go, let it go. And I'll rise like the break of dawn. Let it go, let it go. The perfect girl is gone. Here I'll stay and then the light of day. Oh, yeah. Let the storm rage on. The cold never bothered me anyway. Oh my yeah. goodness, that is so awesome. I did that for fun. I was trying to win a contest. Disney actually called you? Disney actually called me. <gasps> oh yeah, they were like, hello there. <laughs> I'm the big cheese around here. Come down and talk to us. Have you done any big voices for movies or TV shows since? I've done a couple of films now. Uh, so anytime Adam Sandler can't do Dracula, I usually get a call, so I come in and I lend myself to the Dracula voice to be like, Welcome to Hotel Transylvania! Ah, that's <laughs> that is crazy! <laughs> what is the trick to getting the Mickey Mouse voice? Obviously his voice is a lot higher, so you need to go up into your, your lighter voice. Okay. And lights and, okay! Yeah, there you go, that's great, okay. right there! I'll go up here! You feel like their voice is at the front of your teeth, right? You feel like it's right at the very front of your mouth? I want you to take it and put it in the back of your throat. What? Oh. And cover the sound, like, like that. <laughs> All right, so if I talk, hello, hello, voice There you go. Oh, there you go. You have to do the inflections that Mickey does, because that's half the character. Okay. So every time he talks, he's either really high or really low. There's nothing in the middle. So it's like, oh boy, <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> 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 That wasn't bad. <laughs> 
What's your favorite voice to do of all time? Oh, my favorite voice is King Julian from Madagascar. I like that moment, moment. What has been your hardest voice to get? That, hands down, is Donald Duck. Well, hi, everybody. This is Donald Duck. <laughs> do a girl one. Whistle while you work. <laughs> I've noticed, like, when you do different voices, your lips go in different places. Yeah, so, like, everything changes oh. to, like, bring attention to the voice. Yeah. It's, like, it's easier to control. Whereas, if I was doing pee out here without going out the corner of my mouth, mm. you feel it doesn't feel as big or deep. Yeah. Whereas if I go from the side again... <laughs> he feels deeper and more powerful. All right, I'm going to work on it. Well, if I go to the corner... <laughs> A famous Disney voice. Timon! Ever wonder what those sparkly tots are up there? Oh, gee. I always thought they were balls of gas burning billions of miles away. You know what? I feel like it is so good that it's maybe too good to be true. Oh, oh. plot twist. <laughs> I think you're fake. Oh, oh. drama for your mama. Because right <laughs> you're, you're too good to be true. I can't believe my eyes that you're here. So I think he's the real deal because I don't know who else could do voices like that. He is amazing. So now we need your help at home. Is he the real Brian Hall or a fake? And vote in the comments now, real or fake. We want to hear from you. But wait, before Brian Hall goes, we're going to play a game called Wheel of Mini Challenges! That's where we spin this wheel. We're gonna have you do it, and oh, we're gonna play it. a game that appears on the wheel. Go ahead, give it a spin. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, he spun the wheel of mini challenges and got whose voice is it anyway? He does a voice, and Margot and I have to guess what it is. And whoever does it the quickest, well, they get a point. And the loser has to eat out of the mystery box. So I hope you have some good voices in your think tank. Okay, I think I got one for y'all. Okay. Here we go. Bonjour, mon chéri. It is lovely to see you here in the castle today. Oh, that's Lumiere. Lumiere, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, that was wonderful. <laughs> that was good. Margot got it. That was so good. Um, Are you guys going to go see Beauty and the Beast? Let me know in the comments. Oh, well, look at you. Oh, mama, I look like you got a lot of good worm around him, all right? Oh, I uh -huh. forgot his name. It's Princess in the oh Frog, God, but I forget no. his name. Um, I just uh, got my butt glowing, that's right. Jacques, like a Mr. Man with a big back pouch. Yeah, no, click it, I'll call him me a What's his name? Y'all got it close enough. You said it was a firefly. It was Raymond, but everybody called me Rick. Oh, man. Jen. I knew who it was. I couldn't think of his name. Have you guys seen Princess in the Frog? Let us know in the comments. But you, okay. said, you said the firefly from Princess in yeah, the Frog. Yeah, I think that's that 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 the point. Yes, master. The force is strong with this one. Who was that? <laughs> I think it's Darth Vader! Yes! Yeah, Woo! get it, girl! Wait, so y'all both get a point for that one? Because you said it at the same time. You know, learning the fight's essential. It doesn't matter whether you're royalty or not. You got to learn to defend yourself! <laughs> Who was that? King Fergus! It's Meredith's oh, dad! Go. Yep, King Fergus, Meredith's yeah. dad. <laughs> Calm yourself, Iago. His aim was obviously less than worthy. Oh, Ooh, you know, you know. That's, I know. That's um, that's that's the mean guy. Jafar. Jafar. The, there you go. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking it was the mean guy in Elena of Avalor. Oh, yes. Okay, last one. All right, here we go. I'm sure you guys will get this one. Big <laughs> summer blowout. Half of swimmy suits, clogs, <laughs> and a gun bomb of my own invention. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know it is. You? Yeah! Ready, one, two, three, King Julian! No! Big <laughs> 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 summer blowout. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Can you, have you seen this movie called oh, Crossing Oh my goodness, you're right! <laughs> you know, Oaken, yeah. Straining Fast. <laughs> Hi, family. Darn! <laughs> I think I lost, guys. Oh, no, you uh -oh. did really good, but... I tried. Dun, 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 dun! dun. Okay, here it is. Oh. Um. Bum, 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 bum. <gasps> hair, hair. Wow. 
What? Wait, I'm. Can, can you even hair. eat hair? Oh, there's oh there's something oh, else. Uh -oh. oh. What is that? Under the hair, there's. Oh, it looks like dried worms. Ew. Like crispy worms. Oh. Uh oh. And there's like there's people on it that are saying no. They're doing this. They're like, saying no. It's not even slimy yet satisfying. <laughs> okay, Boomba. Three, two, one. Ah! She did it! Ooh, it's so ooh, it's crunchy. Oh, oh. oh, and it has aftertaste. So well, let's put that away. Brian, it was so much fun to have you. If you're the real Brian Hall, that is. <gasps> to be Brian or not to be Brian? Ow. Oh, sorry! <laughs> Wait, maybe it is real. Oh. Sorry. Let's go. It's, it's been <laughs> stuck in my face for the past six years. I hope it's real. <laughs> Friends. That's some strong glue. <gasps> oh, I see. All right, round of applause for Brian Hall. Oh, thank y'all, thank y'all. Yes, come back anytime. <laughs> oh, I'll take you up on that offer. <laughs> okay, now it's time to move on to this week in history. Since amazing things are going on around the globe each and every day, we thought it'd be awesome to share some really cool history tidbits that happened this week. February 16, 1923, two English archaeologists, Howard Carter and Lord Carnarvon, opened and entered the sealed tomb of King Tutankhamun in the Valley of the Kings in Egypt. Here is some never-before-seen footage with a totally dot TV twist. By George, Howard, you did it! You discovered King Tut's tomb! Ah, we did it, old chap! And now that we have it excavated and cleaned, it's time to open it. But first, I invited the whole town to celebrate. A party for this momentous occasion. King Tut's tomb will be just fine on its own for a few hours. Ah, I can't wait to get a look at the modified pharaoh of ancient Egypt. Why, Joe, there's a mummy in there. Oh, not to worry. That tomb hasn't been open for more than 3,000 years. I'm sure it's safe. Yes, uh, now where is that pesky intern of ours? Eh, oh, no. Whew, I'm all finished with my work today. Aladdin? Aladdin? Hmm. I told him to meet me here for the big celebration. Maybe he's inside the tomb already. Wow. Cool. Wow, can you believe we have footage of that event? Do you think it really happened like that? Let me know in the comments. Do you like Legos? How about Batman? What if I told you there was a movie that combined both Legos and Batman all into one? Well, here at Totally TV, we are giving you the world premiere exclusive access to the red carpet event. Jen, what do you think? I think I'm gonna head to the red carpet right now. <gasps> Voila! I'm here in LA. I know, Margo, that I said a red carpet premiere, but this is black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. We are officially taking over Totally.TV style the black and yellow red carpet premiere of the new Lego Batman movie. Okay, hey guys, I'm here with Batman. You have to give us an I'm Batman, please. Not you, I'm Batman. Batgirl. I'm Batgirl, and don't forget it twisted, I'm also Barbara Gordon. All right, I'm here with my girl Jojo on the black and yellow carpet. Are you excited for the new Lego Batman movie? I'm super excited. So I'm here with super director Chris. This is John, super producer Dan. What is the last thing that you played with Legos? What's the last thing you made out of Legos? It was a Lego vintage movie theater, the Death Star kit. That was the last thing I did in, in Lego, which was a lot of fun. What about this movie? I did do this movie too, that's good. That's, you, you, that's a trick question. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Harley Quinn. What's the best thing about being Batman in the new Lego Batman movie? Um, the best thing about being Batman is that uh, not only do I live in a mansion, but I also live in a cave. Guys, 
you know, the best part was working with these actors. They're a lot of fun. They're really funny people. I, I laughed every day I came to work. Mixing different genres together and different universes together. So with the Batman movie, you usually only have DC, Joker, Riddler, Bane. But here we have other universes. So we have Harry Potter universe. We have Lord of the Rings. I don't want to give away too many. But with Lego Batman, you get to mix all these different worlds together. It was amazing. It was so fun. I wish, you know, I, I didn't get to really work with anybody else. I, w I did one session with Will Arnett. So it was really kind of incredible because I just was really focused on Barbara Gordon and, and on Batgirl. And it wasn't so much necessarily playing off of other people. So it's going to be a big surprise for me. There were a lot of really fun parts to write. I think a scene at the end between Batman and Robin that was funny and but has a real emotional kind of quality to it. Hopefully you'll tear up a little bit. What are you hashtag obsessed with? I'm obsessed with my dog, with social media, and with bows. You know, I, I should get a matching bow. That's a really yeah, cool bow. Sure. This is my actually Valentine's Day bow. Why do you think they'll be hashtag obsessed with the new Lego Batman movie? Um, because Batman and Joker are really funny together um, and because you're going to see a different side of Batman than you see in other movies and, and it's a big, you know, fun action movie. It's cool, it's funny, it looks beautiful, uh, lots of jokes, lots of different characters and you can bring all your friends, boys and girls will like it. So if you were a superhero, what would your superhero name be and what would your outfit look like? Because you're obviously really into fashion. Okay, it'd be like Sparkle Hero. And my fashion, it would just be like literally a sparkle suit. I'd probably want to fly or have super speed. <laughs> Where would be the first place you would fly to? Probably Korea. And you have to see all you know, in Jojo Mita, not a big pop. Oh my goodness, I'm so impressed. Can you teach me something? Anya Hasio. Anya Hasio, what does that mean? Hello. Who's your favorite character in this movie? Because our kids love to choose favorites. They love sure. Batman, yeah, yeah, they love yeah. Harley Quinn. Yeah, yeah. Who's your fave? Uh, Robin. Michael Sarah as Robin is really adorable. And he's just, he's a super, you know, can't beat somebody who's like super positive. The funniest thing is what Batman eats at home. And he loves lobster thermidor. We Googled, what do rich people eat? And what showed up was lobster thermidor. So that's what we feed Batman in the movie. And so cute to see a, a plastic Lego lobster. What would you say to kids who are watching this who maybe want to grow up and be a famous director and do the next uh, Lego Batman series? Um, you know, uh, write every day. Write and perform and, and believe in yourself because, you know, you can, you can go farther than you think or farther than anybody will let you. So, so just believe in yourself. Just go for it, do it, and, uh, and have fun. I am Hasio Che, Edom and Jojo Amida, and you are watching Totally.TV. Hi, I'm Chris McKay, and you're watching Totally.TV. Oh my goodness, did you see who I just interviewed? All right, that's all the fun from the black and yellow carpet here in Hollywood. I'll send it back to the treehouse. Here I am, Margo, back in the treehouse. Tell me, what do we have next? Next, it's time for Toy of the Week. Let's play with some toys. This is more than just a toy. It's a virtual reality headset. And it's only $20, which is why we picked it out. All right, Margo, this is totally awesome. This Google Cardboard allows you to play 360 degree video. That means you can look left, you can look right, you can look behind, you look all around. It's really awesome. That is so cool. So these are your eye goggle part right here, and then your phone is gonna be placed right in here where the viewfinder is. Because it's linked to Google Cardboard, you can download their app in the App Store or you can go on YouTube and watch some of their fun videos there. I found an app that's a roller coaster. <gasps> I found that one too. Oh, here's what it looks like before it goes in, which is kind of cool. It's like a split screen. That's so awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm off. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, there wasn't. Oh, so I'm doing a flip. Me too. Oh my gosh, I'm doing a flip. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Ah! We're going right and we're oh. zooming. Oh my oh. goodness. It's I'm like, going backwards. <gasps> Who came up with Woo! So virtual reality, we are oh. totally in an actual amusement park on a roller coaster and I'm yeah. going down. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh I'm getting dizzy. This is like I'm on a real roller coaster. I think my eyes just went cross. <laughs> Have I you guys know. ever done virtual reality headsets like Google Cardboard? Let us know in the comments too. Oh, this is so cool. Hey, Jen. 
Do you want to go to Paris? Absolutely. Would you like to go to outer space? Oh, I've never been. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, there's a comet. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Go, go, go. All right. All right. I'm going to the Eiffel Tower. You can go. Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh my gosh. Ah, hey, Jogger. I've got the whole world. Whoa. <gasps> Guess where I am. You will not believe it. I'm in Tokyo right now. I see all kinds of Are neon. Are you guys watching from Tokyo? Let us oh. know in the comments. Click to go back to the treehouse. Oh, oh gosh. I'm back. Oh gosh, there's comments everywhere. <laughs> okay, Whoa. I need to get out of this. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. <laughs> we have to announce who won the selfie mics. Margo, how can they find out who won? If you want to see who won the selfie mics from the last treehouse episode, go to the top of the comments section of this video. Hmm, what do you think? Should we give one of these away? How about two? <gasps> How about three? How about four? Or five? I think we should give away five right. VR sets, the Google Cardboard, super awesome. And all you have to do to win one is... Subscribe! And... and comment on the bottom of the video. Yes, this absolutely. Video. And we'll announce the winners in next time's Treehouse. Oh, I can't wait. Just look in the description box for all the details, though. These kids are going to be so excited! Ah! So, what other toys do you want to see on Toy of the Week? Let us know in the comments. So that's it for this episode of The Treehouse. If you want to be friends with us, you have to follow us on social media. So find us on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat at Totally D-O-T TV. What was your favorite part of The Treehouse? Let us know in the comments below or tell us what you want to see in future Treehouse episodes in the comments section. Yep, and click the subscribe button if you want to be entered to win the virtual reality headset. Thank you. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Bye.